Jackie. Jackie's in love with me. You know, it's so what? If I were, you know, normal 16-year-old Joe Blow, it'd be a totally different story. You know, nobody would care. What do you say to your aunt's concerns? Um, well, those are my aunt's concerns, you know. Uh, no, there's no truth. There's no truth to those concerns. I think uh, probably their main problem is because our relationship's not working out too well anymore. I don't know why they're talking to the press. All I can say is that if they really cared, they wouldn't. And uh, they wouldn't spread lies. Furlong then addressed the issue that his live-in love is almost twice his age. I'm, you know, I'm not saying I don't have a relationship with somebody, but, you know, who the hell's business is that? You know, it's like, I, I, you know, I have a girlfriend named Jackie, so what? You know, she's, you know, older than me, so what? That happens all the time. Like I said, you know, if it was a normal 16-year-old, who would care? Eddie Furlong didn't choose stardom. Stardom chose Eddie Furlong. And now his aunt fears that without guidance and supervision, the teenager might end up like so many other child stars who were used and abused by Hollywood and then discarded. You know, I've heard rumors about Eddie being out there drunk. You know, people seeing him in clubs drunk and smoking. This isn't the kid I knew eight months ago. Not into drugs. I'm not into, you know, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just, doing my job and I'm trying to have a life. Tafoya says when she and her brother Sean Furlong took over guardianship from Eddie's mother in 1990 due to the mother's personal problems, Eddie was a sweet and loving kid. But Tafoya says when Eddie started filming his latest sci-fi thriller Brain Scan, he knew his aunt and uncle didn't approve of his relationship with Jackie and severed the ties. This older woman should not be you know, inserting herself into his life and taking control. Celebrity columnist Richard Johnson has spent a career covering Hollywood, and he says Furlong's relationship with this older woman is hurting his star status. It's a situation where he's the only major star in the movie, and he can't do any press because he doesn't want to talk about his relationship with Jackie Domax, so no publicity is being done. And you're the producer of this movie, you've spent millions and millions of dollars, and this is really annoying because you're afraid that the movie's going to open, no one's going to know about it, and it's going to bomb. If you want your own private life, that's your own business, because when you're filming a movie, that's work. When you're at home, you're resting. You know, it's not work. It's not going to last. It's not. He's 16 years old. She's 30 years old. You know, she's lived ha mo twice his lifetime of experiences that he should be having right now. And he's not gonna have those experiences at all. But Eddie says he has big plans for the future. Plans to stay together, plans to get married. Sure, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's just, it's, all it is is just a loving relationship. That's all it is, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure you have one. I'm sure, you know, everybody, you know, I mean, most people have, you know, a relationship, but, um, you know, it just so happens that because I was in Terminator 2 with Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, people have to sensationalize on it. And um, that's the kind of thing that irks me is because, you know, I just want to have my life, you know. We tried to interview Jackie Domac, but she refused. And many are now wondering what's next for the kid next door who made it big time. I hope he will come around, but he's being actually right now raised with the morals of Hollywood. He's like my own in the future, no matter what you do. I'm always here for you, and I love you. Young Eddie feeling the pressure from a well-intentioned auntie in the meantime.